Hello guys, this is my first tutorial for Black Ops. As I'm getting quite often asked for um, a recording tutorial, I will do this right now and pretty quick and pretty explained. And um, I have the PC version so I don't have one single clue about the console version, but it should go the same way. Okay, um, I have made a movie config for you guys. Oops. Going to come on, Call of Duty Black Ops and Players. And um, you will find uh, a config m underscore mp uh, config file. This is your regular um, multiplayer config. You should make a backup, backup of it. Oh god. And um, then you're just renaming it to um, something like MPP for a play config as this is a mo uh, movie config I call it MPM and then you just have to rename your playing config as the normal config underscore MP to get your old config back. So um, let's just rename this to start our black ops with um, the whole movie config in it and don't be afraid of these whole binds they are for um, the gamepad which I actually used before the patch come out which actually made it possible to use a dolly cam and this was also a pretty awesome technique with a gamepad to smooth I never done this and it was actually pretty good. Okay, um, what you need before you start recording too is fraps. I'm recording currently um, my screen with that so I won't be able to record any in-game footage with this right now as my record would totally screw it and that wouldn't be so funny. Set it to 30 frames per second as this will give us the highest possible frame rate without any stuttering and then you choose just a path where you want to save it and you don't have to record any audio for this. You're going to add sound files later in the um, in the Sony Vegas process. Okay, let's start Black Ops now. Also, if you don't have the players folder, be sure you launched at least um, Black Ops one time. <coughs> one time I think it was. So you get this right. Okay, um, first of all my whole Black Ops is in German, so this will make it actually a little bit harder, but I try to uh, translate those whole buttons. Okay, let's go into the settings, into the graphic settings, and if you don't have a good PC, then you can turn down the anti-aliasing and the texture quality. Also you can turn off shadows, as these are pretty performance heavy so um, you can turn those off also I have made this completely muted so you won't get annoyed by any slowdown sounds alright um, the field of view this is totally personal preference I have this to um, 74 as this is a quite good mix out of the standard field of view and the um, promo like field of view ProMod, for those of you who don't know, no, <coughs> sorry, it's a mod for Call of Duty 4, which actually you can set up your um, field of view totally ridiculous to 90, I think, and this looks pretty um, interesting. Okay, let's go to cinema or replays my last recent played games or recently played games I think it is in English exactly and then just search a sick game and then go to um, start replay okay this also takes a lot of time so I'm just drinking a little bit here in this passage as this is taking a long time to load Okay. 
Also excuse me some failures in my English pronunciation and all that because English is not my first language but I always try to improve myself in English as I'm already pretty interested in this language and yeah. So let's get this started with if it wouldn't freeze again. Damn you. Okay, um, it's just some weird casing I found. Okay, um, I start pretty late in this game and this is not really the best start. And also I have to take, um, I also have to concentrate on the lower left area where you can see who joined the game and yeah can see the kill feed which is actually um, called in the CSS genre um, death notice so um, just for your own interests kill feed equals death notice and I think I should be starting about uh, wait for it wait for it no wait for it here Good, um, let's just search for me, and below, uh, down the mid, the bottom middle, the middle bottom area, oh, Jesus, the, um, the whole control panel actually gives you some indicators, the green indicators, the green stripes are for your kills, the red stripes are for your deaths, and no one likes to see you die in the frag movie, so, Let's just skip to the green parts, to the favorite parts of everybody. So um, let's turn down the replay speed of this replay to point 0.2. Why you will see later. Okay, um, then you just um, press F1 and F4, and don't get cocky about you're not about to see any plus 105 million and whatnot. This you can add this later in Sony Vegas with some um, with some fonts, and then you just make it pop out and fade out and all that stuff. Okay, then you're going to record this with fraps, but my fraps are is a little bit um, different. At least it don't want me to record um, in game while I'm. Yeah, doing already in record. So I'm just skipping this. But believe me, I, I've i done this exactly the same. So there shouldn't be any problem with this. Okay, you need one extra program for this whole process. You'll need... You'll need... Virtual Dub. You'll need... Oh my gosh. Okay, um... Just search now for your Black Ops fraps file that you just created oh, wait a second I think I have one here yeah this is an unused smooth yeah yeah this is an unused smooth no okay um, you can actually scrub through this if you don't want to have any um, any stupid parts in it which you don't which you're doing nothing and you just want to get straight to the action. Um, you have down here two little arrows. You can set a start point and an end point. And you can skip the frame, every single frame with um, the arrow keys left and right. And you actually set the end point with this little button. And what this does, it actually selects a little range of frames and then you can delete them via um, pressing on the delete button. How simple is that, please? Okay, then you scrub through your whole footage and I don't know, maybe you like um, some pretty weird deaths moving here. Okay, let's just select a few frames. Yeah, this was pretty cool, this was pretty awesome, this was pretty smexy and 
yeah. Also, this is done with the dolly cam. Actually, you're not be able to do this with the controller, as this is pretty much um, a whole timing-based thing, and you'll actually be never able to do this with a controller. You may be able to do this, but not as good as with the dolly cam. Okay, now here comes the math with this whole thing. You go to video, frame rate, and set this actually to 150 frames per second. Why you might ask now? We are we have recorded this whole footage with 0.2 speed of real time. Then we have to multiply it five times to get real time. And since we recorded with 30 FPS, we are also taking this with the multiplier of um, 5, then we get 150 FPS. So this is real time now. <coughs> also this should work with um, the whole recording stuff with the consoles and you know this is all pretty basic. Then you can apply some compression to it. I always recommend you uncompressed as this gives you out the best quality. But you can also try this um, YUV codec, which is also pretty nice, it's a looseless codec. Go to audio, set this to no audio and then just render it out with a hit on your F7 key. This was the tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, see you next time, bye bye.